Hello and welcome back to the World's RV Show going on at Motorhome Specialist, the number one volume selling dealership in the world with one location. My name is Donnie O'Banion and I'm here today with Kevin Finn, the National Sales Manager for the Coachman Class CRV Division. Kevin's going to be walking us around our most popular B-plus model here at Motorhome Specialist, the Coachman Concord 300 TS. All right, fantastic. Well, thanks again for having me. Um, you know, Donnie, might sound a little bit redundant, but uh, we're not sure who's watching this particular video. But one of the first things that I just really like to try to talk about is, is something that a customer doesn't see every day and that you're not going to hear at the RV shows or at the dealerships. You know, when these chassis actually come into Coachman, they're going to be a bare chassis. They're just going to be a cab and some rails on the back. Uh, one of the things that Coachman really uh, strives on is that we're one of only two manufacturers that are actually authorized to stretch our chassis in-house. So what we'll do is, is we know exactly what we're going to build on, on each particular chassis. So we'll take that chassis, go into our chassis prep area, we'll weld some frame rail extensions on, we'll fish plate them together, um, <clears throat> we'll add the wiring harnesses, the extensions to the wiring harnesses and the things that go with that. But one of the things that are really key to try to give the customer a really good ride is that we actually have to add a drive shaft extension. We'll take the Ford drive shaft extension off as well, put it in a big lathe, and actually balance them both working together. What that does is helps with the vibration for the customers. You know, not all the time do the uh, do the factory uh, <laughs> right. drive shafts uh, come out you know perfect, but that's really important. It's under our control under our complex from day number one. So, and especially when you're talking about a longer unit like the Concorde, when you get into the, to the larger Class C and B plus models, 30, 31 foot like we're looking at here, it's when it's really important and the drive can really be affected if it's not balanced properly. You're exactly right. You know, every particular unit before it actually ships off to the dealership, we do test drives on them. So that's another key feature is that every unit goes for a test drive. So as the person that's test driving it, if they feel any imbalance into that coach or, or feel any creaks or some things that aren't quite exactly right, we can right. take it right back into our complex at our chassis prep and have it reworked. So it's really a benefit to the customer. So here we are, we're at the Concord 300 TS. This is a, a great selling floor plan for you guys. You, you do a tremendous job with this floor plan. This coach is loaded up with features, so um, we got a lot to talk about here. It's going to be feature packed. Uh, let's start off right at the front. If you notice this little thing right here next to the antenna for the coach, every coach that you bring in has the Sirius satellite system on it. So right. you're going to be able to listen to that same channel as you're driving all the way throughout the country. So all your coaches have that. You're going to notice here that you got the uh, side view camera. Side view camera is a great feature. It's a, it's a great safety feature. Basically what happens is as soon as you turn on that turn signal, it's going to show you in color what's going on on the side of your coach. Okay. Right. It takes all the blind spots out of it. All the blind it's spots Changing are lanes. I mean, it, it, the, the old worried, you know, you get in the thing, am I going to be able to drive it? I mean, truly it makes it to where it's, it's easier to drive these than it is a car. I mean, when you start talking about the blind spots, you're not looking over your shoulder or anything. No. And it's a panoramic style camera that shoots literally, uh, you know, a uh, very wide angle. Absolutely. Yep. I don't know, 45, 50 degrees straight off of the fender here and where you can see all the way down the side of your home just yep. takes away all the blind spots and you can see the cars whether they're you know right here in your door or 10 foot behind the back wheel you know exactly where they're at it's just a great safety feature you know one of the other features that this particular coach has is that it's got the heated and remote mirrors so instead of have somebody jump out of the cab of the coach and adjust in your mirrors for you and when the next driver drives they got to do the same thing you got a button inside so you can adjust your mirrors also it's heated so if you wake up and it's a little chilled outside you got a little bit of frost it'll actually take that frost off and i didn't think i could like the paint job uh, any better than what you already <laughs> had done for last year um, uh, but this i mean it has just got a great new clean look just completely different from uh, from what y'all have been uh, doing the the previous year colors are great and you know I like how you integrated the the black you know through the mirrors and the paint job uh, just you know, uh, a lot of attention to detail in the paint job this year it uh, it took the team a long time to actually come up with this particular paint style but what we wanted to do is because this is a higher-end coach and and you know we're finding that a lot of our buyers for this particular coach are coming out of the big diesel pushers 
we basically just took some of the big diesel pusher designs and played with them a little bit and tried to put them on the side of our coach. So um, this is a full body paint coach. It's actually got a clear coat on it as well. So it's an automotive clear coat. Really, Donnie, as far as taking care of this coach, it's just like taking care of your car. You just wax it, it's gonna hold up. You're not gonna see any of the dirt in the fibers. There's no fibers on the outside of this coach. Right. Also, your paint has been cut and buffed. So you're not gonna have the big uh, scratch marks, you know, the, the different layers of the paint. So it's a really nice feature. And, and the Concorde, you know, what separates, you know, uh, we get a question a lot, you know, what's the difference between a C and a B plus? You know, you can see it's here in the cab is the most, you know, easiest uh, way to spot the difference because you're going to have the molded fiberglass cap, this, you know, all the round radius um, uh, overhead cab. And then, of course, here in the sidewalls as well, where these are round, yep. uh, rounded off. So what we do is a, a, a typical Class C is going to have an overhang that's in front of a windshield. Okay, right for more cab over space. What the B pluses are basically starts at the top of the windshield and goes back. You're going to notice our wing wall here. This is all fiberglass piece. It's nice and rounded to really give the aerodynamics of this particular coach. You know, the B pluses with as much um, uh, styling that we have done, we've tried to really help the drag resistance, the wind resistance as it's going down the road sure. to try to help you with some of that fuel economy. You're going to also notice that our sidewalls are actually radiused on this. Right. You know, that's a great feature. What that does is, uh, once again, you know, it's a little bit more wind resistant than some of our other coaches or, or the typical Class C's out there. And it gives a really cosmetically pleasing look on the outside of the coach. You know, being in the Concorde, you're going to have an, uh, an electric step. Yep. And uh, that's going to have the, um, the automatic uh, switch on the inside as well. That it's hooked up to the cab would automatically Correct. go in. Correct. So, so you're, you're not turn the driving key on. With, your, uh, with your step out. Now this particular coach is equipped with our Ride Right Firestone airbags. Right. Okay. With the Ride Right air ride control, basically what that does is allows you to blow up each individual airbag on each side of the coach. So you know, Donnie, when you load these things up, you're not loading them up so that they're perfectly you know, weight distributed right. properly. So, you, you know, if you have a little sag on your coach, you can go over on the other side and blow the airbag up a little bit more to bring your coach back to, back to riding level. You know, when you're riding level, you, you're not gonna wear out your tires. You're not gonna have, you know, less things are gonna go sure. wrong. Sure, and you can control the coach. comfort of your ride as well. You can, you can blow them up. If you got heavy weight in the back, you can blow them up or you can, you can take a little bit of air out of them, you know, for a little bit softer of a ride. So yeah, that's a great feature. Another thing you guys do with on all, all your coaches here is you put aluminum rims on. Yes. You know, the aluminum rims obviously uh, look better than stainless steel. Well, as you said, you know, and we've noticed the trend as well, a lot of people coming out of uh, diesel products, you know, you are talking about a higher end, you know, product here. Um, although, you know, I still think it's, you know, arguably the, the best value in a B-plus model period yes, uh, in the marketplace. You know, we're selling these coaches for 89 dollars um, and it's just an incredible value. But like you said, you're getting a lot of people coming out of diesel yep. um, or out of class A gas, and they're not looking to necessarily- Go backwards. In exactly, life. they're just looking for something more compact. Right, yep, so, something that's a little bit easier to drive in and out of town. Absolutely. Um, you know, something that's a little better fuel economy. So that's, that's, that's what we're seeing this particular product go to. Um, Obviously on the side of the coach, you're gonna notice this nice big television set. <laughs> so we're gonna put a 32 inch outside entertainment center. It's gonna have a AM FM CD player, as well as a DVD player, your outside speakers. And you know, we take a little added step and we actually put in your, your little video inputs here. So if the kids are outside and they wanna play a PlayStation, or uh, you you're know, not trying to fiddle back and behind the TV to get your connections hooked up. Exactly. You know, one of the, one of the new things that we did um, starting about uh, half the year into 2013 is we started offering a power awning. Now right. look at the size of this awning. This awning goes all the way to the back of the coach and it starts in front of that slide room. So it really gives you a lot of, of camp area out here. You know, so you can sit out here with your chairs, watch television sets, still be underneath the awning. You know, these awnings are gonna be a power awning and they actually have automatic dumps to them. So if you get too much water on the awning itself, one of the sides will actually just drop down and the water will run off. 
Or if you're out there in a rain and you know you're going to collect water, right. you can pull that arm down, lock it into place so it's at a slant. And that's great. Uh, like I said, y'all running it all the way back to the back of the coach because most, um, most coaches are going to be uh, about um, where the rear tire is, right. you know, where the awning it. cover is going to be. This one will cover all your electronics and give you, uh, you know, another six or eight feet Absolutely. over standard coach. One of the other features that Coachman does, <clears throat> you know, you got your awning here. A lot of people put awning lights up, right? Sure. Well, we got a nice little outlet right here so you can put your awning lights and plug your awning lights into right at your awning. So that's a nice little feature that we do. So, uh, that so is, is that something y'all just recently started doing? Yeah, pretty I don't recent. recall that. In, in, yeah, uh, probably 2013 was roughly in there we started. And you know, y'all run the slam latches on these too. Yes. You know, so it's a lot better handle than, you know, the traditional yes. turn keys. <clears throat> Well, it's, it's going back into, you know, stepping out of a bus. You know, they're called the bus style slam latch doors for a reason, I guess. Right. You know, big buses started that and now we're, we're bringing it into our coach. So kind of as you wrap around the coach here, you know, there's just so much back here in the back. I mean, you got a, a one piece fiberglass cap. You know, we talk about the buses and we talk about coming out of those diesel pushers and those things. You don't have just a laminated wall back here. This is actually a one-piece fiberglass cap. You're going to notice this big radius window back here in the back of the coach. It's going to be the frameless style window as well right. back here. You got LED lights for your lights back in here. Uh, even your backup lights. Even the backup lights are LED lights. You got a rear ladder, so it allows you to get up into the roof to do your annual maintenance, checking your seals, cleaning your TPO roof. Um, you also got a uh, backup monitor and a hitch back here with a actual hitch plug already attached. And that arched window in the back of the Concorde, you know, that's just been kind of a signature feature of this coach for years, but gives it a totally different look than anything else in the market. It sure does. It sure does. And like I said, now that with the LED lights uh, in the back, I mean, it really has a fantastic look. And of course, those aren't going to burn out all the time. Like they're the not going to burn do. out and they're going to be brighter and they're going to be a faster response time. So it's just overall, it's just a much better light. You know, one of the things that we've done here in recent years, Donnie, is we've switched our slide rooms, our slide room mechanisms. This slide room mechanism is a Schwintech slide room system. Back in, the, uh, back in the older days or beginning days, you know, we used to have hydraulic ram arms. They used to go out at the bottom. The room used to be built differently where the top right. would hit first and then that would add the pressure to it. Then we went to the, to the wires, the Norco sure, the wire cable -driven. systems, the cable driven yeah. systems. You know, we found that the cable driven systems, some of the cables would actually break, fray, take your rubber seals off. So we've gone to the next generation. The next generation is just Swintech slide system. It's a nice benefit about this is it's a small motor that sits into the wall. It's easily accessible on the outside, so if you ever have any, any issues, you can get right to it. But it has basically a, a drive right here that is going to allow the room to go in and out squarely. So it's, right. you can't get it out of square. Right, and that's, that's the key feature of it is that it's actually a four-point system. It's a four-point system. The old ones were a two-point, so you yep. know, again, they either pulled from the bottom or pushed from the top, but they always came in. Right crooked to some degree. <laughs> yeah, this is a great system because it keeps pressure on all four corners when it's in and keeps pressure on all four corners when it's out. So it really has helped stop some of the leaking that were in the old slide rooms. Um, also, slide room toppers. Yep. You know, all of our coaches, whenever we have a slide room, we have slide room toppers in it. Slide room toppers are a, are a great feature. Um, it's going to help keep any of that uh, debris off the top of your slide room. It's going to help with any water infiltration up there. You know, the last thing that you want to do is end your camping trip, slide in your slide room and have a stick up there and just ruin all your all your bulb <laughs> seals. So, um, you know, the, the tenant safety glass, tenant safety something glass, that, and that's standard on the Concorde. That is standard on the Concorde. Yes, sir. The way we build these walls are a little bit different than other people as well. The way that we build our side walls is going to be an inch and a half by inch and a half tube or aluminum. It's going to be all heliarc welded. All the aluminum stays inside of the plant. None of it sits outside, so it's not going to corrode. It's not going to get any, any, um, any um, oxidation to it. Okay? So it's going to really keep, when we weld it, it keeps those seals together. Also, we use a block foam insulation. The block foam insulation is basically like your coffee cup, your styrofoam cooler, things of that nature. It's going to be an inch and a half of block foam insulation. 
And then on the outside of the coach, when we laminate the fiberglass to our backer, we don't use Luon, okay? Most of the industry will use a Luon backer. What we do is we use a material called Asdale composite material. The Asdale composite material, it will not accept any moisture. So it will not wick in any moisture. It will not mold, it will not mildew. Also the nice thing with the Asdale composite material is it's 50% lighter than what the Luon is. So what that means is on these larger coaches that we build in the Class C chassis, we can actually give you more cargo carrying capacity inside of our coaches. Absolutely, and especially with the amount of features that we like to put on the, the coaches, the extra entertainment centers. Um, you know, this coach is equipped with the automatic satellite dish. Uh, it has a coach leveling system. So, you know, you're adding a tremendous amount of weight Correct. with features that they want to have. Right. And, you know, again, in a bigger coach, you're, you know, there's some, uh, some things that you would not be able to do otherwise without Correct. the Asdale product being a part of the build. Right. Now, as well as that Asdale composite being all those benefits, it even has an additional benefits. Number one, there's no formaldehyde in that Asdale. So what that means to the customer is it's not going to emit any formaldehyde fumes. fumes. Inside the coach, anything that we use that has formaldehyde in it, we use low formaldehyde, the lowest formaldehyde that we can possibly get. What that means is that in the summertime, you know, after this thing's been stored for a little while and you open up that door, you're not going to burn your eyes with all the formaldehyde fumes. Right. Also, it is an R2 insulation factor. So as opposed to where everybody else's two inch thick sidewall is going to be an R9 insulation factor, our coach is going to go step, step a little bit further and go with an R11 sidewall. Basically down here in the heat, it's going <laughs> to really keep your coach cooler in the inside. And if they're up doing some winter camping, you know, it's going to really keep the heat in the inside of the coach. And that along with the tinted safety glass and the fact that this coach is now available for the first time, y'all just started doing this recently, is uh, putting a 15,000 BTU AC yes, sir. that's available on the 300 TS. So, um, And not only is it a 15,000 BTU AC, but it also is a heat pump. So it allows the customer, if they're into that 40, 50 degree weather right. out there where, uh, you know, they're going to wake up and it's chilled, they can actually turn on the heat pump and it'll actually just uh, heat up the coach a little bit for them. No need to run the furnace. Just no need to run the furnace, not until we get cold. That's great, so you don't have to use any of your LP gas, just the park's electricity and... Absolutely. So coming around the coach, you know, basically uh, we have an outside exterior storage right here. That's all a rotocast compartment that you'll see inside there. And if you notice, we even use an LED light inside of our storage compartment for our lighting fixture. So we don't, we don't cheap on this coach. You know, when no. we say that, that we're all LEDs, we're truly all LEDs throughout this coach. So you got, it's hard to tell maybe through the camera because of the, the, uh, the shadows, but I mean, that is a really deep area. I mean, that, you could, I mean, you can put a set of golf clubs. I mean, anything that you want to, it's a really deep pocket Absolutely. in that particular storage bay. Absolutely, that's what we've been known for. You know, Coachman really is known for our exterior storage of our coaches, you know, Typically, all of our coaches are going to be 100 cubic feet or larger with exterior storage, so it's a great feature. You got the uh, 30 amp electric supply here. You know, another thing that we do to make it a little bit more convenient for the customer, you got your dump station right here. This actually is a rotating sewer boom. So it just allows the customer to go ahead and keep their, their sewage hose connected in there. Right. Um, it just stores right in that area right there, and they just pull it out and it's a lot easier. Now, and, uh, yeah, and you're not having to disconnect it. I mean, once you've no. hooked it up for the first time. You're done. Yeah, and you're I mean, done. obviously it's got protection from the elements and stuff being encased inside there, so it'll last a lot longer, the hose itself. You got and it. And you're not having to disconnect it and store it in a bay somewhere or anything else. So. Correct. Moving along the coach, um, we have a six gallon gas electric water heater. This is gonna be an Atwood water heater. It's gonna be a quick recovery water heater. Um, basically, the benefit to that, Donnie, is that when a customer gets to the campground, they're going to turn on the gas. They're going to heat it up because it's going to heat up real quick, but then they're going to flip the electric switch and just use the camp campground's electric instead of using up their propane. And from what you said, now we've got a heat pump. I mean, right. Unless you're in freezing conditions, I mean, you're going to be using very little LP gas in this coach for, Correct. for anything. Well, like, and speaking of freezing conditions, another feature that you guys put on your coaches is going to be the Camping Cozy Package. Yes. The Camping Cozy Package, basically what it does is it's, it's heat pads for all of our water tanks. So the, the heat, you'll get heated holding tanks. And then also what it does is when you pull your knife valve, 
the knife valve will be actually at the tank, not down at the sewer boom. So what, what that means is that you're not exposing that little bit of water to the elements. Absolutely, and it's like I said, for our coaches here, you know, I put it on everything that we, that we can, even the 28 QBs, I mean, everything. Right. Because uh, we sell to people from literally all over the world, and even the people who live here in Texas doesn't necessarily mean that that's where they're going to travel, right. you know. So it's a, it's a really important feature for us to put on our coaches. You know, us from the north, we like to come down here and visit, you know, in the wintertime. <laughs> You guys, I don't know what it is, but you like to go up north sometimes in the cold. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, so, so basically outside here, we got to have our outside shower. We have all of our water hookups. We're going to have a city water fill, a fresh water fill. Um, we're going to have a black water tank flush. You're going to have your, uh, your cable outlet hookup right here. So everything that we did and we put into a compartment in the, in the Concord brand, reason why we did that, we just didn't want to have those extra things sitting outside of the coach. We right. really wanted to try to bring that Class A styling Absolutely. into a B plus. The, the aesthetics and of course everything will just come out through this, yes, you sir. know, through this one little drop yep. right here once you get there. So it's just yep. really nice and clean and easy to hook everything up in one place. Sure is. You got the uh, Onan generator on this. It's yes. a 4.0 Onan generator. You know, nice thing about the Onan generator, it's a little bit quieter than, uh, than some of the other brands. Also, the Onan generator is going to be a two-stage generator. So, you know, as you're not taking in power, you're going to be burning less fuel consumption on that generator. It'll and idle down. It'll idle when down. It needs to. And then when you need to have the powder, power, it idles up. Okay. I think that's about everything over here. Why don't we take a look at the, uh, at the inside? Okay. Now, as you walk into the coach in the step well, you're going to notice there's a little latch there for the top. That's going to hold your house batteries. Now you option two house batteries for the Concord brand. So, we do. So it helps when you're doing any sort of uh, dry camping out there where, where you're not going to be able to run your generator all the time. So you're going to have a couple different house batteries. You got a battery disconnect as soon as you walk in. Uh, and the opposing slides, I mean, it's, it's huge in here. You, you could dance in here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is a great floor plan. This would, when you talk about needing some space or you want to talk about, you know, a, more of a full time living and being able to, to be spacious, this is really the coach. You have two opposing slides. You have the dinette over here. You know, this is a great feature. We actually use what's called the dream dinette. So if you ever need to break this down into a bed, you just flip that switch push it down, push it take your down. cushions out, put them back around. So you don't have to worry about the poles that are underneath like we do in some of our other brands. Right, there's no, uh, you know, no place for your, your legs your, to your easily feet get in and hit. out. And you don't have to worry about scarring up your wall anymore. Correct. And that slide itself, I mean, where that's at, I mean, it's uh, having the windows, yes, sir. you know, in the side of the slides, I mean, really tells you the depth of that particular slide. Yes, sir. Uh, Cause that's really rare. Yes. Uh, you know, traditionally it's, you know, it's not going to be that deep, uh, certainly not deep enough to where you can put uh, additional windows in. Especially in your class C's slash B pluses. You know, a little feature that we do that, that really doesn't get a lot of credit unless you actually point it out. We put these little pillows here at the ends. Right. So really, if you want to be comfortable sitting inside this coach, you know, you can kind of kick back here, put your, yeah. put your leg up and comfortable, watch TV, got a great view. This is just a great little thing that After we do. doing this all day, that really looks yeah. good. Kevin. Yes, it does. <laughs> Some of the other features with this dinette, um, you know, class C's, class B pluses are all about storage. You know, we want to try to find every little storage space that we right. can possibly find. So basically what we do in these, we have full extension ball bearing drawer guides, which allows you easy access to storage underneath your dinette. And of course, those will handle a lot more weight than a traditional yes, sir. drawer glide. Yes, sir. Um, kind of going around the coach, you're going to notice on the, uh, on the Concorde, we put a skylight in. That just uh, adds some natural light inside the coach. I always like that feature. And then, of course, it's got a nightshade where you can close it down in the daytime. Yes, sir. Or, of course, at night, I mean, if, if you wanted to. Yep. But uh, less than a lot of extra natural light. It sure does. It when sure you're not does. parked inside a building. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> um, one of the other things that we do, you know, we talked about all of the LED lights on the outside of the coach. Right. You know, it's really important that we talk about the LED lights inside the coach, too. Definitely. So we spend a lot of extra money going with LED lights inside here. The LED lights are going to burn at a lot 
cooler of a temperature. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Than when what they the say do. those other ones literally burn your hand when you yeah. put on them I mean, if they're I, on for 15 20 on minutes. Um, yeah. and also they take less draw, so it's going to not going to take as much amperage to actually uh, run those lights as it does a halogen light. And I mean, and then just the fact that they're not constantly burn out. I mean, yes, I buy thousands of lights a year for pre-owns and stuff as, as units come in. I'm sure I mean, the bulb do. lights, they just, they burn out constantly. Sure they do. Uh, so, you know, these are just going to last a lot longer. And then of course, especially in the summertime, I mean, not emitting a lot of heat. That's a big deal. It's a big deal. You're trying deal. to cool a coach. Because I mean, these things get hot. They get hot. They get hot at their halogens. That's, that's for it. sure. You know, up here on the ceiling, we use a vinyl soft touch ceiling inside this coach um you know the vinyl soft touch just will it will not absorb any oil, uh, odors um right. up in the up in the ceiling it's easy to clean you know one of the other added benefits that we found out when you have this padded vinyl ceiling it helps with in the noise in a in a rainstorm or down here hail storms. sure sure so really helps a lot of overhead storage this is a new wood for us uh, for the later half of 2013. This is our Sierra Cherry wood. It's going to be a glazed wood. Um, so what that means is that all these little joints right here are going to be actually glazed, which gives a little added pop to it. Yeah, it looks like y'all cut a lot of extra, you know, put a lot in. of extra grooves into it to, to, of course, hold the glaze this year. Yep. And then uh, I, I love the, uh, the etched glass that y'all put in it. <laughs> It's a really nice touch. It, it, it adds a little bit, it sure does. Uh, the kitchen area, uh, we've changed to a, a sealed burner cooktop. Right. So you got a three burner sealed burner cooktop. We're gonna have a convection half-time microwave. The half-time microwave will, will cook about 50% faster than what a con regular convection microwave will do. And again, you don't need any LP gas as you would with a conventional oven. Correct. So this little fancy uh, hood vent right here and yeah. light, um, more of a European style, um, condensed down, stainless steel, um, very nice feature. We have a nice deep sink, big round bowl sink. Yeah, I like the stainless, I like the stainless steel mm -hmm. sink that y'all went with. And of course the, the fixture, just a really nice high-end fixture. Just an upgraded fixture. All of our cabinet doors and our drawer fronts are all going to be real wood. So these are going to be solid wood door, door fronts and drawer fronts. And then actually our, our styles that we've put inside here, they're a real lumber core, it's a real wood. What we do is actually we'll pocket drill and then we will screw screws in there instead of stapling it like some of our competitors out there. So it really holds together. I was going to say, it make a big difference as you own the coach for a couple of years and they're brand new, it doesn't matter so much no, but as, a, as as you use them right you know when you know what kind of product you bought yep now uh, the uh the wood door fronts like i don't recall is uh, are these um these wood door fronts are they are these now standard or is that something i'm still um optioning these in? are standard actually in the concord now the wood door fronts on the refrigerator as well raised panel just wanted to tie in this nice looking cabinetry even into the refrigerator area it looks great yeah it turned out good you got a fantastic vent up here Fantastic vent will move uh, quite a bit of air inside the coach. So if you if you really need to circulate some air, that is a great feature, and it's quiet. Sure. Um, and of course, if you're cooking and you want to get, yep, you know, you have a vent the, there. You got the you vent, vent there, here. and you've got the overhead there. Another thing that I like to point out on our coaches, you know, Coachman really is concerned, or we really want to address cooling inside of our coaches. Not only do we put the fifteen thousand BTU in for you. But what we do is when we build our, our ceilings, we actually will put an air conditioning duct into it. This is a, called an AMCO air conditioning duct. Basically, it's gonna be a foil wrap insulated material. And this is actually laminated into our roof. And then when we come out of our air conditioning unit, we actually use a radius air conditioning duct. So basically, instead of hitting a 90 degree angle and trying to dispense that air, Right. We have a more even airflow, we call it even cool in our coach. So we come out of this duct, radius down that way, come out of this side, radius down the other way. With the combination of the radius and with the, uh, the uh, AMCO foil, we give about a 30% more airflow inside of our coach than our competitors. And you want to hold the condensation inside the ducts that the way is you do correct. in a lot of other ones. That which of course just is another place, I mean, where there's water, there's issues. Right. <laughs> so, you know, the other thing too is um, 
you know, you probably see this with some of your other brands. You turn on that air conditioner for the first, you know, three months of the season and you get the little white beads that are coming out. Right. Well, they don't line their air conditioning ducts. They just take a router and just router out that styrofoam. So really another key feature. Kind of coming back in the back of the coach. You know, you have the, uh, the shower. It's going to be a, a nice shower door. Yeah, it's got a true glass door shower and... Um... You know, it's got the marble look on the inside. It's not yep. just a white plastic shower like you normally see. And then the door itself, you know, it's not just a, a, a glass door shower, but it's uh, the way it's actually hinges back, um, keeps all the water inside the shower instead of it being a traditional door that opens up. And then, of course, the water comes out the bottom of it. Correct. And with it radiusing back like that, it gives you a little bit more room to get in and out of that shower as well. Um, back into the bedroom, you know, once again, our, our big thing is about storage, right? I mean, look at all the storage we have here. We have a nice wardrobe area. You got hanging closet space on both sides. You have some nice pull out drawers right here. You have overhead storage back here. You can put more folding clothes in. And it's actually got the uh, hinges. It's not the type where you got to hold the door up. Correct. You're actually putting the, Correct. the shocks on the, on the doors solid surface uh, ledge here yep. at the side of the bed. You know, you didn't get back here and go, okay, well, this is the one counter we're gonna cheapen the coach. You right. still put the solid surface back there. You know, the other nice thing that we do is we put uh, plugs on both sides of the bed. So anybody that has a, uh, you know, uh, plug in a cell phone, an alarm clock, a CPAP machine, those types of things, you have plugs on both sides of the bed. You got a nice, huge window bringing in some natural light back right. here. You know, it's really a nice coach. Did a great job with the cornice boards this yep. year as well. Like I said, y'all integrate the, uh, the, 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 leatherette. The, the leatherette into uh, into your window balances. Um, and the TV. Y'all are the first ones to recognize this, especially in the Class C's, putting the larger TVs in. And then just the placement of it up high where it's yep. easily viewable yep. from any... And it's in the center. Yeah. You're both laying in there in bed. It's, you know, it's, right. it's at the foot of the bed. It's just, it makes a, it makes a lot of sense and... Um, as, like, like I said, even with how y'all tilt it down. Yep, so you get a better viewing area. Now, Donnie, we didn't talk about it, but we need to talk about it. You know, you notice our floor throughout the coach is going to be actually a, a vinyl material. It's what we call our Congolium Designer Carefree Flooring. It has a great warranty to it. Now, you're going to see a little bit of carpet back here, Donnie, but this is actually something that you option. It's a removable carpet here in the bedroom. That's so. It. So if you want to have the carpet back here, you can have it. You can take it out if you don't want to. You can keep it down, easy to take out the clean, all those types of things. So with the with the no carpet on the floor out there, you know, it's really going to stop those stains, that and of wear. Course, and with the carpet mat set, you not only get the one that goes around the bed here, but there is a full carpet that there goes is. in between the, the, the sofa yep. and, and the dinette. So, you know, in the wintertime, Yep. You know, you can put down carpets if you want to. Correct. Um, or, you know, if you're loading up the grandkids and everybody like that, you don't want them right. messed up. And like, and the great thing, too, is, I mean, it, you can just take these out yeah. to clean them. They're pre-cut, you know, pre bound. You know, I mean, they're not going to fray on you. So, I mean, it's it's a nice little feature. But you'll also go the extra mile in your duct work and the heating Correct. by not putting them in the floor. Because, of course, if you add the heating duct work in the floor wouldn't work. Correct. So, you know, the fact that y'all spend the extra money to run your heating ducts, you know, into the bottom of the cabinet trees, into the walls and places like this, you know, allows you to be able to have this carpet set. Of course, it's got a lot better look too. You know, on our Ford chassis, we offer a swivel chair feature now, driver and passenger. What used to be an empty space, a void, as you were living in a Class C or a Class B+, plus, um, really now is, is part of the living area. So we have the swivel seats that will actually turn around now. Um, you can sit here, you can have cross conversation with people inside your coach. You can u actually utilize this space now. Yeah, I mean, it's essentially like getting an extra, you know, three, four feet yes, of living space in your coach that used to just, just be, be just wasted space. Right. And then what y'all did on the outside as far as your privacy curtain, y'all got that really nice vinyl windshield vinyl cover windshield. that runs around uh, the entire front windshield and the side works by magnet, so it yep. just sticks to the metal on the coach. Yep. It's got a great look. It's nothing to mess with inside the, the unit here, so it's Correct. not like you're climbing underneath the curtain to get to your dash right. to do anything. Keeps all this just completely wide open. It's got a great look from outside the coach, too. It does. It does. 
Going to notice our nice dash applique, just dressing it up up here in the front. That's our backup monitor, CD player. Um, it's going to be an AM, FM radio. It's uh, also your side view cameras. Now our backup monitor is a little bit different. We're a color backup monitor. Okay, color with voice. So if somebody's back there trying to direct you, they can actually talk to you. You can hear them up front. Right. It's also, when you turn on your turn signal and you go to your side view camera, that's in color as well. And the backup camera too, you know, they call it a backup camera, but you know, I never turn mine off. You know, yeah. when you're driving, you've got a tow vehicle behind you. Yes, sir. I mean, you can just run them all the time. It helps you judge distances when cars are coming up from behind you. Yep. And then again, like I said, if you're towing anything, just to check your cables and Yep. You know, to be able to, it's just sure nice, it's, to, back it's just nice <laughs> yes, to be able to sir. glance and they go, yep, it's still there. You know, the other thing, uh, you talked about this particular coach had the four point automatic leveling jacks. Um, basically what this system is, you just turn the power of the system on and you press auto and it automatically just, the jacks come down, it sets up itself. Um, if you're in a really steep incline or you want to do something a little bit different, you can control each one individually if you need to. Right. And when you're set, ready to go, you just hit retract and all your jacks go up. Um, you know, another nice thing that we do is we leave it on this long cord. Right. So you can either do it inside the coach or you can step outside the coach. And yeah, that's nice. If you want to look underneath the coach, you know, right quick as they're going down. Yep. You know, so it's nice to be able to step outside with the controls. And uh, on our Concords, we actually have the emergency start feature as well. Emergency start feature basically is if, if your chassis battery goes dead and, uh, you know, say you left your lights on or something, your chassis battery is dead, you press that emergency start button and it will run off your house battery to start your vehicle. Right. So it's a great no, feature. I'm going to worry about getting stranded somewhere. No, sir. And then, of course, the Concorde's going to come on, the bigger coaches are going to be on the E450 yes, chassis yes, to uh, handle the, the three slide out rooms, the additional weight. And with the Forge, you're going to get um, dual safety airbags up in the front. Yes, sir. Concord also has power windows, power locks, yep. uh, cruise tilt. So, you know, uh, you a lot it. of luxury features that you're going to get, you know, with this particular Ford cab. Correct. You know, it's going to come with it. Yes, sir. Um, a lot of 12 volt plugs up there too. I believe you have four 12 volt plugs you now do. in the front of the Ford. Yes, sir. Those so, 12 volt plugs are good for, uh, you know, like a GPS or a cell phones, cell phones and all those kind like of good things. Um, you know, I've got the um, uh, the entertainment package up here. You know, I've got a big LCD TV. You got your stereo system. It's going to be AM, FM, or uh, DVD and CD. So that'll control all of that for you. Right. You can plug up your MP3. Yes, it's, sir. It's a cool, uh, cool little system. And still give you a little bit of storage on the sides as well. And, and yeah, there you go. Two extra lights up there. All right. But, uh, you know, again, it's one of our most popular models. It is. You know, and it has been uh, since 2009. It, uh, Coach really looks great. you have done a great job on it. I tell you, the team's really worked hard on it, so we appreciate that. You know, when a customer purchases a Coachman unit, they're going to get a, uh, a one year of CoachNet that's going to come standard with the coach and they're also going to become part of the coachman family as far as our uh, travel club so they also get a, a one-year subscription to that right and there's a lot of benefits I mean it's different it's discounts at uh, campgrounds different uh, lodging fuel just all kinds of different benefits that go with uh, go with that package we want to thank you all so much for all, um, for watching today. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, day three of the World's RV Show, and uh, we'll be showing a, a lot of other products uh, again tomorrow. But I just wanted to thank you again hey, thank so you much for your much. time, thank coming you. down Thanks and spending with us. us. It's uh, greatly appreciated. Our family here appreciates it well, very much. Coachman family appreciates it as well. We thank you all very much. Have a good day.